on Coldwood Discount Juicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys and drop some more juicing knowledge bombs on you guys. If you guys want some juicing knowledge, you've come to the right place. My name is John Kohler, and I've been juicing now for 27 years, and I've been selling juicers online for over 20 years, and I'm the number one world's juicer expert. That being said, I know a ting or two about juicing as well because I've been juicing for so long and have my personal beliefs and thoughts about juicing that I want to personally share with you guys in this episode. One of the very popular things is called juice fasting, may also be called juice feasting. Some people call it a solid food vacation or maybe just a juice cleanse. And how I would define these as it's basically when you go on and you drink nothing but juice for a certain period of time. So you don't eat any food, you drink only juice, as much juice as you can make. And in some, place, some cases, people buy pre-made juice, which I actually encourage you guys to avoid because a lot of pre-made juices from the store may even have added sugar. Um, and when you make it at home yourself, you're going to have the highest quality juice. Yes, even over and above juice bars that sell fresh juice. You can make higher quality juice at home, in my opinion, by doing it yourself. And I can help you guys find out the right juicer. And check my other videos. The links down below some of my favorite juicers that I have been selling for 2022. And of course, i got to give a special plug out to the Nama J2 Juicer. The Nama J2 Juicer is my favorite juicer. Link down below to the video why it is my favorite juicer, but I'll let you guys know this. The Nama J2 is a game changer juicer because it allows you to juice and incorporate juicing as a part of your healthy lifestyle a lot easier. Literally all you need to do is open up this little lid, you drop in your produce and you fill up this hopper, you can make between 24 and 32 ounces of juice just by loading the hopper, shutting the lid, turning it on, and literally walking away and let the juicer do all the work. You come back to a full glass of juice that you could drink, you simply and easily quickly wash the juicer, and you're off about your day. And that's why I really love the Nama J2. Before the Nama J2, you'd have to sit there and push produce into the juicer. That can take quite a bit of time out of your day. And this just makes it super simple, super easy. If you guys are looking for a juicer and want to get a juicer to do this juice fasting stuff or what I'm going to recommend, then you want to check the link down below to namawell.com. So if you guys want to get a special discount on the Nama J2, I'm here to hook you guys up with a $55 off discount at this time. That's a 10% off discount. And when you guys use my coupon code, not only do you guys save the money, you also help me out because Nama will share part of the commission on the sale with me so that I can continue to make my educational videos for you guys. So I appreciate you guys so much and hopefully if my videos have helped you with information and setting you on the right path, you guys are also going to help me out by using my coupon code so I can continue to do my educational work that I love so much. So once again, CLEANSE10, use that discount code at namawell.com to get your own very J2 juicer, which is my favorite. All right, so on with this video, so juice fasting. So you'll be very surprised to hear that I am not a fan of juice fasting. You're saying, wait a second, John, you're the number one juicer expert in the world and you don't recommend juice fasting? Surely you've sold so many juicers to people that want to juice fast. And yes, that's totally true. I've sold lots of juicers to people that have juice fasted and many people have gotten amazing results from juice fasting, but yet it is not something I would necessarily recommend you guys to do. I always like to teach you guys good, better, best. And while juice fasting is good or even better, it's not best in my opinion. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys the 10 reasons why juice fasting is not the best. And I'm also going to share with you guys what I recommend instead. All right, so the first thing I want to do is define what is juice fasting. So there's many different ways to juice fast. And I mean, the main thing is you go on a specific juice recipes for a certain period of time. And if you are going to juice fast, I do encourage you guys to drink different kinds of juices made from different kinds of produce. I'm highly against going on an all fruit juice fast or cleanse, if you want to call it that, where you're only drinking straight fruit juices. I personally do not see a great value in that. I see a greater value 
in juicing mixed juices. So what, if you want to make, you know, some fruit juice, but also you're going to drink some leafy green juice, you're also going to drink some root juices as well as stem juices, which are things like celery. I think that'd be great. And that's what I encourage you guys to do. You want to juice all different kinds of fruits and vegetables in different forms, you know, from the roots to the stems of the plants, to the leaves of the plants, to the fruits of the plants, they are all good. As you guys can see, I have some different juices here, and yes, these are all natural juices, no, nothing extra added. I'll go over what they are. This is like a watermelon juice that wasn't super ripe watermelon. Uh, the two orange juices are basically orange bell pepper with jicama in there, and a little ginger, and maybe a little bit of cucumber. The red juice is 100% straight tomato, and the blue juice, that's a fun one, that is the Armenian cucumber, jicama, pineapple, Asian pear, and a little bit of ginger in there with the organic blue spirulina powder to make it look really cool and pop on the camera. I mean, this is actually my grandmother's favorite color, the turquoise. It's just an amazing blue pigment. But yeah, this allows me to easily recognize it when I open my fridge up and I'm like, oh, that's the cool blue juice. And it's, you know, the cucumber, jicama, um, pineapple, Asian pear and ginger juice. So I could just grab that easily. Otherwise it'd be just like a really non-distinct kind of yellowish color. So yes, you could actually even add things to your juices to kind of make them look cool. I encourage you guys actually to add different green powders as well as spirulina powders and chlorella powders if you guys choose to do it. That being said, getting back to juice fasting, I'm not a fan of long-term juice fastings. Although I know a lot of people may idolize people online where you see an interview with somebody that did a 100-day juice fast and you see their before picture and their after picture and they lost lots of weight. And yes, weight loss is, a, is one of the major outcomes of juice fasting because basically, um, you know, juice is easier to digest, you're getting concentrated nutrition and more importantly, you're probably eating less calories than you would otherwise if you guys were eating solid food. So that definitely is great, but the challenge I see is that a long-term juice fast is very difficult to do and it has lots of inherent challenges in it and so I don't recommend long juice fast. So if you guys want to do a juice fast and not eat any food, you know, I would say from one to seven days seems reasonable to me personally to do a juice fast for one to seven days without eating other kinds of foods. And of course, during your juice fast, you're gonna drink a variety of different juices and not just one specific recipe or juice. Links down below uh, to a video I made on you know uh, mistakes that people make when juice fasting and I don't want you guys to make those mistakes. One of the big ones is also remember to drink enough water because your body is constantly cleansing at all times whether you're on a juice fast or not and water helps remove some of the waste or toxins if you wanna call up that in our bodies. Now the main reason why I don't like juice fast is because as much as I've seen a lot of people lose weight during the juice fast and after the juice fast, right? The main reason why I don't recommend them is because after the juice fast, you know, going on a juice fast trains you to drink juice, which is great. It's, it's cleansing, it's healthy and all that stuff. But then the problem is after you're off the juice fast, you're going to refeed and maybe eat some healthier food for a little bit. But then in the majority of cases I've seen, People just go back to eating their traditional diet that got them in the in got the extra weight on and got them into the health predicament they are in in the first place because juice fasting does nothing to curb your taste of the processed foods other than just maybe taking you off of them for a period of time. So that's why I think it's so detrimental because basically what's going to happen then is that you're going to ping pong. You're going to think. I've been bad. I eat McDonald's and junk food and a hamburger or whatever your foods are in your head that you don't think is healthy. I've gained weight, so now to fix it, I need to juice fast. And we got this whole like, you know, bad thing, good thing mentality. So I messed up, I ate bad, now I gotta juice fast, right? You juice fast, you lose the weight, but then you go back to eating bad and then you gotta juice fast again. And even famous people like Joe Cross, who I admire a lot, don't get me wrong, I love Joe Cross, he's an amazing guy. He wanted to juice fast, even made a documentary about it, fat, sick, and nearly dead, that I still recommend to this day because it is such amazing testament to the power of juicing and Joe going on his juice fast and losing weight and getting healthier because that is what juicing can do for you. But what I saw after the juice fast is that Joe was not able to keep up with his healthy lifestyle habits that he gained during the juice fast. He went back to maybe some old habits that he had 
and started packing on some of the pounds again and it was not as healthy as on his juice fast. And the fact of the matter is, I don't want that to happen to you. I want you guys to get the benefits of juicing that will sustain you throughout the rest of your life and you're not going to go back to doing the things that cause you to get in the problems in the first place. And that's the number one reason why I don't recommend juice fasting because it's a temporary band-aid fix in my opinion and it and for many people it may not be sustainable. Now of course you guys could be the exception out there and I have met people that have done a juice fast, lost weight and then kept it off and then ate healthy but the fact of the matter is the numbers don't lie and most people I see do juice fast end up gaining the weight all the back or maybe even more than they had before their juice fast. So what I'm going to recommend for you guys is a way to get that weight off and keep it off in a more sustainable and healthy fashion in my personal opinion. And what is this magical way, John? Well, it's the way I live my life right now. What I like to call it is I call it a perpetual juice cleanse. Now, I got the word cleanse in there, and I know you're thinking, John, cleanse and toxins, that's, that's all like bogus. You know, here's the fact of the matter is our bodies are detoxif detoxifying or cleansing each and every day we are alive. We have systems in our body to cleanse our bodies and cleanse our systems. And here's the thing I believe is that foods that we consume and put in our pie hole can help us detoxify or cleanse faster or slower. Of course, things like processed foods, junk foods, foods high in saturated fat and clogging your body with you know, artificial foods are really going to impede the cleansing process, in my opinion, and foods such as the juices, especially green juices, especially cruciferous vegetable juices, especially some root juices, juices with high polyphenol and secondary uh, plant metabolites, in my opinion, and based on some of the science I've seen, can help us detoxify and cleanse even faster. So yeah, the juice recipe that you make is also important because that'll dictate if you guys were going to cleanse faster or slower. Link down below my video on how to formulate your own juice recipes and I'll also throw up a video in the links down below in the description on you know my tips on juicing fruits if you guys want to juice fruits to make fruit juice the healthiest you can. So this is what I do in a nutshell. Every day, right, every day, not just like once a week or once a month or I don't go on a juice fast for seven days, but every day I'm not traveling and every day I'm home I drink one to three quarts of juice a day, right? I'm up near three quarts usually in the summertime when it's really hot and I'm dehydrated because I like to also get my hydration from the juice instead of water. That's like extra credit. It'd be good for you guys just to probably drink extra water that's, you know, filtered, not tap water, but I like to personally drink juice for my water. So I maybe drink it up to three quarts a day Aside from the three quarts of day of juice I drink in a day, I also eat my regular food. You know, whether I'm having, you know, salads and fresh fruits, maybe some, you know, steamed or heat processed potatoes or sweet potatoes, you know, artichokes, you know, beans and rice. I'm eating other foods that are healthy at the same time. But the first part of my day, first half of my day is drinking only juice. So think about this, when you guys are sleeping, you guys are fasting because you're basically not eating anything. You're, you're abstaining from all food when you're sleeping. Upon the time, right before when I go to bed and right when I wake up, I drink water. So I might drink like a half a liter of water before bed and then right when I get up, I drink another half a liter of water and then I'll work for a little bit. And then when I get hungry, I don't eat breakfast, I will then drink a juice. I drink the juice and then get back to work, and then I'll get thirsty again or hungry again, then I'll drink more juice, right? After I drink that second juice, and I usually try to do like a leafy green juice and then a root juice some days, depending on what I have in stocked in my fridge, because I also bulk juice, links down below to the videos, how I show bulk juicing in the Nama J2, so I can actually basically make a week's worth of juice in one hour, if I'm having like one juice a day, it might take two hours, if you're having two juices a day, you know, and then you have it, have it stored so you just grab it out of your fridge and drink it and go. And it makes it really sustainable and something easy to do. So, so what you guys are doing basically is when you go to bed, you're fasting. Hopefully you're sleeping eight hours. You're fasting for eight hours before bed and you didn't eat maybe a couple hours. You know, don't eat, you know, three hours before you go to bed. So hopefully you, you've maybe slept like 
12 hours and you have any anything you get up in the morning you drink some water so now you're still kind of fasting so you're kind of putting your body into a kind of a ketosis kind of state so you're like able to do some house cleaning and then you drink juice which is the easiest thing to digest on the planet aside from water in my personal opinion and belief in addition you are flooding your body with phytonutrients that can also aid in detoxification and cleansing as well and so now you basically almost extended your fasting time to like 14 hours or so and then you have a, even a smaller eating window so it's been shown that it, you know having a smaller eating window can be beneficial and I'm not gonna you know sit here and argue with somebody that says oh, when you're juicing John that's not that's not water fasting well it's not but it's still the lightest food to eat and it still gives your body a break from that digestion process and digestion of food so you know to me that is what I call a perpetual juice cleanse because I call it perpetual because I'm doing it each and every day you know if I'm traveling then things get a little bit awry but if I'm at home always drink from one minimum to three maximum I usually like to do two juice two quarts these sizes uh, you know vacuum sealed um, you know most days of the year and then of course the other meals I eat healthy foods so that's what I recommend for you guys you know for the rest of your life I want you guys to do a perpetual juice cleanse by drinking juice each and every day because once you do things for at least a week or two weeks it's gonna become a habit and it's gonna stick and here's the thing here's one of the tr tricks on why I like a perpetual juice cleanse because once you start doing it and you start doing it regularly right Juicing, in my opinion, is the easiest way to include more fresh fruits and vegetables in your diet, especially, guys, the vegetables. That's why I encourage you guys to juice the vegetables, not necessarily juice in the fruits. And up in your vegetable game will increase your health outcome and your health benefits, in my opinion, and based on some of the studies I have seen. Because most Americans, less than 10% of Americans, eat the recommended servings of vegetables a day, and you could easily achieve that in a vegetable juice if you drink a vegetable juice and that's why it is so valuable and then you could go on and even if you're still eating processed foods and junk foods man if you eat if you drink your two vegetable juices a day yeah you know eat McDonald's if you guys have to I'd still encourage you guys to eat a whole food plant-centered diet if you want to eat some you know high quality meats or other foods hey fit those into in smaller amounts but my goal is to allow you guys to increase and maximize your fruit and vegetable consumption as well as other whole plant foods that you guys prepare at home. Also by juicing, even with the Nama J2, because it is so easy, it allows you to prepare some of your own foods at home. And that's what I want you guys to get in the habit of doing, is making your own foods at home, because going to a restaurant will never be as healthy as something that you guys could prepare at home with your own two hands and putting your own love and attention into the food prep that you do. As a matter of fact, 99% of the food I eat, I prepared with these two hands, and I'm not gonna tell you guys, it isn't a lot of work. So that's why I say start with juicing, because juicing, you could you could offset a lot of the other foods you would normally eat that is pre-prepared by concentrating the fruits and vegetables into just like literally a quart of juice. You know, one quart of juice could be like four pounds of fruits and vegetables, and you drink two quarts a day, like I'm recommending to you guys, and you may need to work up to this, so I don't just start off with two quarts because some of you guys may not be used to that. You know, that's eight pounds of veggies and fruits, and now you're really kicking ass over basically every other American, except for me. So now I want to get into my specific reasons why a perpetual juice cleanse is superior in my book than a juice fast. So you might do for a limited amount of time. And once again, I do not recommend long juice fasts. Number one, a perpetual juice cleanse is more sustainable than a juice fast because on a juice fast, you have to make copious amounts of juice. You may be drinking four to eight quarts a day depending on your specific caloric needs. Whereas if you're on a perpetual juice cleanse like I'm recommended, you could even start out with one quart of juice. I like to do two quarts of juice regularly, but that's still significantly less juice than you would have to make on a juice fast. Fast. Second reason is that when you're doing a perpetual juice cleanse, it will slowly acclimate you over time to the taste and flavor of the fruits and vegetables without some, but not all of the fiber. Now that depends on what you're juicing. So for example, when you're juicing carrots, you're still keeping about half of the fiber from the carrots in the juice because it's soluble and it dissolves in the water. 
Um, you know, something like pineapple is something I no, don't necessarily recommend juicing because you're now you're only keeping 10% of the soluble fiber from the pineapple. But I know a lot of people may not like to eat kale, you know, and if you juice kale, now you can get the benefits of kale in you without the fiber, plus it's easier to digest. So that way you could acclimate yourself towards the flavors and taste sensations of fruits and vegetables. Now this is especially important if you guys have kids. If you guys have kids, hey, juicing is the best way to get more fruits and vegetables in them. And even if you're an adult, you might want to do this technique. You know, hey, if you guys got to, you got to juice, you know, 90% pineapple and 10% kale just so that you make it tasty and sweet enough and tolerable so that you like it. If you feed that to a child, they'll be like, wow, this tastes really good even though it's green and kind of make it a game that it's green. And slowly over time, inch down and reduce the amount of pineapple. So even if you're doing 90% today and 10% greens today, hey, do like 80% in two weeks and do 20% greens or put some celery in there, some hickory in there, and slowly but surely reduce the amount of pineapple and increase the amount of vegetables in there until you get to pretty much 100% vegetable juices, which is what I mostly do these days. And if you do find me drinking a fruit-based juice, it's usually only 50% fruit because that's the the minimum I prefer to juice um, in most cases, although there'll be rare exceptions where I do juice higher percentages of the fruits. But my goal, and I want to encourage you guys to have the goal also, to juice more vegetables and reduce the amount of fruits if you guys are able and if it's tasty for you to drink. Third reason why I want you guys to do a perpetual juice cleanse is because it won't result in ping pong dieting. I talked about it a bit earlier, this whole good versus bad. Hey, I ate McDonald's and I gained a bunch of weight and I ate junk food and fast food and drank soda and now I'm bigger, so now I need to do repent and do this juice cleanse stuff so now I can work off the weight that I gained and I can work off the weight and then, what, I'm skinny again, now I can eat the junk food again and then basically you gain the weight and then you go to juice cleanse and lose it and it's just this constant back and forth. Juice cleanse, non-juice cleanse, eat crappy, drink juice and... You know, it's shown in science that actually ping pong diets are actually way worse for you <laughs> because your body's just having to make too many adjustments and changing. And our, our, our bodies like something constant. You know, it's kind of like the hare and the tortoise in the race and who won the race, right? The slow poke or the tortoise won the race. And that's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to win the race of health by doing this perpetual juice cleansing that I recommend so that you guys are slow and steady and but you juice every single day so you're always ramping up and drinking good quantities of fruits and vegetables to basically get those out of the way first thing in the day right after you break your fast of sleeping. The fourth reason why I believe you guys should do a perpetual juice cleanse is because I believe it can have a greater impact on your health than just a, you know, a juice fast you might do once or maybe even twice a year because you're drinking fruit and vegetable, hopefully mostly vegetable juices, every single day. And once again, because you're doing it every single day, you are training your brain to get in the habit of doing this. And by the end of the year, you will have eaten in their juice form so many more fruits and vegetables than you could have if you just did a short juice fast and then went back to eating the regular food you normally would. Fifth reason to go on a perpetual juice cleanse is because you could spend a quarter or even a half or less of the time juicing for a perpetual juice cleanse because you're not drinking such high volumes of juice on a daily basis during the fast. You're just simply making juice every single day to drink, whether you want to make it fresh, which is the best, or whether you want to do it like I do it, and spend an hour on a weekend day to make, you know, seven quarts of juice so you can drink one quart of juice a day. That with the Nama J2 takes me under an hour to make seven quarts of green juice. The link is down below if you guys want to see how I do it in the Nama J2 and even vacuum seal my juices so that they store without any issue in my fridge. Sixth reason why I want you guys to do a perpetual juice cleanse is for your microbiome. It's an area that I've really looked into a lot lately. Now, I am no microbiome researcher, but I have read plenty of studies from microbiome researchers. And, you know, I think juice cleanses on long juice cleanses can, you know, and will negatively impact your microbiome. Short juice cleanses from a study I've seen can positively impact your microbiome. But when you're doing a long juice fast, you're severely limiting the different, you know, especially some of the fibers and polyphenols and, um, you know, 
resistant starch that you're getting into because you're really restricting that to a very limited number of items when you guys are juicing. As much as I love juicing, and yes, juices do contain fiber and can positively impact your microbiome through the soluble fiber, as well as through some of the polyphenols and other nutrients in the juice that will feed our microbiome. It's also very important to eat other healthy plant foods as well, such as, you know, beans, for example, or, you know, purple sweet potatoes that have been heat processed and then cooled to have resistant starch. These are all very important, and if you guys are truly wanting to make dietary changes in the right direction, once again, drink two quarts of juice a day and then have other whole plant foods to eat. And, and drinking the fresh juices will kind of get you more in the mindset to eating healthy because now like, hey, I've already drank two juices today. What else can I do today to, you know, give my body some good nutrition? You know, you're, you're probably going to do that more than when you do a juice fast and you're just only drinking juice and then you just get off the juice fast and like, I'm off the juice fast now. I'm eating whatever I want, right? So yeah, that's my goal is like trying to keep you sustainable so that over the long run, you're going to have a lot greater health benefit. Now, the other thing that's very important to mention is that a lot of people and also our microbiome doesn't like extreme changes. Like if you've eat, been eating a standard American diet for the last 15 years, you have the microbes in your gut that love to digest the standard American diet and processed foods. If you just go cold turkey one day to a juice, you know, fast, your, your microbiome and you are probably going to freak out like, oh my gosh, I'm drinking all this juice. I don't feel well. I got nausea. I got diarrhea. I got this weird gas and belching and burping and I got like stomach distension because I'm bloated and all these crazy things are going to happen, right? But if you introduce juices on a juice cleanse slowly and, you know, while you're doing this perpetual juice cleanse, you're still eating your McDonald's, right? You could slowly wean off that, you know, and sometimes you might not even have to drink a quart of juice because you're not, that's too much for you. Drink like a half a quart of juice. Drink 16 ounces of juice. And maybe that's too strong for you. Then take the 16 ounces of juice and then fill it up with 16 ounces of water. So you still got 32 ounces of juice, but it's diluted with half water. This makes it very easy for our bodies to kind of assimilate, to kind of like break our bodies in and get us used to, and more important, our microbiome used to, you know, drinking or eating these new fruits and vegetables that you've never or barely have ever eaten before. So, you know, on a juice cleanse, you don't have the option to slow it down and slow the cleansing reactions and slow your body's negative reactions to the fresh juice, however healthy it is. You can moderate this much more easily and have less digestive discomfort on a perpetual juice cleanse as I like to do. Another very important topic when you guys go on a juice feast or juice fast is when you break your juice fast you don't want to just go back to eating McDonald's. Like you break your juice fast on day 15 and then day 16, you go to McDonald's and eat a heavy meal, right? Your microbiome, your body, you is not used to digesting heavy, solid, hard, difficult to digest foods because you've been off foods for the last 15 days, right? So it's very important to break your fast properly. Maybe have some, you know, coconut water, some watermelon, some fruits to kind of like break your fast gently because those foods are a lot easier to digest than like something like a bread or cooked potatoes or something like that, right? But you don't even have to worry about that when you guys are on a perpetual juice cleanse. You could just drink the juice in the morning and then at night still have your normal foods that your body knows and loves, right? And so it just makes it a lot easier because it's like a lot more difficult to screw up in my opinion a perpetual juice cleanse than a juice fast. The eighth reason why I recommend a perpetual juice cleanse is because it encourages you guys to do other healthy lifestyle habits, right? When you're on a juice fast, some people may not have enough energy to do other things or go out and, you know, do a lot of exercise because, you, you know, you're limiting your calories and especially important if you're not drinking enough juice to do your daily activities you could be going calorie deficit, so you definitely do not want to overexert yourself when doing a traditional juice fast. On a perpetual juice cleanse, you're just drinking juice twice a day, you know, and then you're still eating your regular food, so you will have all the energy you need to go out and exercise, and hopefully you're going to be able to sleep better at night as well, and also more importantly, make healthier lifestyle choices, because as I talked about a little earlier, getting more fruits and vegetables in you will acclimate you and more importantly your microbiome to more fruits and vegetables 
and you know in their juice form they're easiest to assimilate and so then hopefully you could move on and then have them in their raw forms and eat more salads have them in their whole forms in the forms of fruits and have some vacuum blended smoothies maybe even have some you know steamed um, greens or you know I use an instant pot you could use uh, pressure cooked greens and pressure cooked veggies and things to eat so that you're now ramping up even more kinds of fruits and vegetables in your diet as well as other healthy plant foods. The ninth reason to go on a perpetual juice cleanse is because I guarantee you if you do a perpetual juice cleanse you will be able to maintain the diet after the cleanse because you know perpetual juice cleanse is not a diet all you're simply doing is adding like one to three fresh juices a day in your current diet and you get to adjust what else you guys are eating in a day of course I recommend eating other things like fresh fruits as smoothies and you know salads and cooked vegetables and other healthy plant foods but you guys are in control of that so it's a lot more sustainable to do it this way to eat healthier than to just go on a juice fast because after your juice fast you might think I did that juice fast so now I'm rewarding myself with Oreo cookies and ice cream and yogurt and whatever else you guys are going to eat and to me as much as it's great to sell a juicer so I can continue to make these videos for you guys and share my information with you guys I've also seen what has happened to people that do juice fast and what I've, I've seen happen to people that do a perpetual juice cleanse and just John I'm just I just want to buy a juicer and make juice every day I don't care if you're drinking celery juice or whatever every different juice can be magical and have different health benefits I encourage you guys of course to rotate your juices and not make the same exact recipe every day because every different fruit or vegetable has different nutrients in it and things that can benefit us in different ways but you know I've seen that over time that it's more sustainable and people have greater health outcomes and results by doing perpetual juice cleanses and drinking juice every day than just going on a radical juice fast for a limited amount of time and then going back to their regular foods that they were eating before. The tenth reason to go on a perpetual juice cleanse is because it allows you to wean yourself off of junk foods at the rate that you feel comfortable with. Like come on nobody would agree with me that junk foods are healthy and you guys know this fast food is a junk food it's highly processed food has lots of calories with very little nutrition and something like a green juice on the flip side has very little calories and lots of nutrition and that's where I want you guys to be I want you guys to eat foods that are nutrient dense if you guys want a book or some kind of plan to follow I would recommend a book by Joel Furman eat for life and that he shares his nutrient dense style eating program which is probably the diet that my diet would closely resemble although I'm kind of doing my own thing and you know Dr. Furman would recommend juices as a supplement to a healthy diet you know juicing shouldn't be the healthy diet juicing should be a supplement to a healthy diet and so I would agree with Dr. Furman on that and uh, you'll be able to wean yourself off of the processed foods at the rate you want whereas if you're going to juice fast right you have to go off your processed foods and your junk foods cold turkey right and just go on juices and you know while some of you guys have done that and, and can do that successfully I know a lot of you guys are gonna drink juice like I don't feel satisfied I just want to reach out and grab my Oreos or my Snickers bar or grab a Coke or whatever you guys love to eat right and you guys are just gonna and then you're just gonna fail and then you're gonna think oh I'm a failure I didn't do good right I want you guys to be a success drink one juice a day and then go out and have your Snickers bar and have a party right but what I would encourage you guys to do in the long run because you guys know Snickers bars aren't healthy right hopefully I don't have to tell you guys that you know hey drink a juice a day and like hey I had my juice today so now today because I had that juice I did a good job I'm going to eat less of my Snickers bar. I'm going to have half of the Snickers bar today, half tomorrow, or whatever other junk food you guys are eating. Buy a McDonald's hamburger and cut it in half and eat half this day and eat half the next day. And instead, eat some extra salad that you make at home. Eat some extra fruits. You know, it's super simple, super easy. Instead of going to McDonald's, go to a Mexican restaurant. Mexican restaurants, honestly, are some of the healthiest foods you guys could get. And get a pico de gallo with a guacamole and, you know, get like a vegetarian burrito, you know with beans and rice like that's like pretty amazing right so I once again you know we're taking small steps in the right direction instead of having to like cut junk food out completely you could still moderate that at the level that you and pace you feel comfortable with so then in the end you're gonna be a success 
instead of a failure. Now the 11th reason why I want you guys to do a perpetual juice cleanse is because you know when you guys are drinking a, on a juice fast while you are still getting some fiber you are eating a fiber reduced diet. You know not only are you restricting the kinds of foods you're eating so now you're not getting fiber from things like mushrooms that have chitin fiber or things like sweet potatoes unless you're maybe juicing sweet potatoes or you know fiber from beans or grains or oatmeal right you're only getting fruit and vegetable fiber that's soluble in their juice form and you know most fruits and vegetables will contain like 10 to 50 percent of the fiber so you're going to have a 10 to 50 percent fiber reduced diet when you're going on a juice fast that being said new research shows that fiber is very important for the health of our microbiome and the health of our microbiome is very important for our health including our immune health including our brain health including our respiratory health including you know our circulatory health so many different systems in our bodies are dependent on our microbiome to be healthy and you know while reducing some of your fiber content for a short amount of time I don't think is an issue I think it is much more important to have a diversity of fiber so once again on my program that I recommend a perpetual juice cleanse you guys could still eat other fiber rich foods and that does not include junk food guys junk food they process the fiber out of junk food so I want you guys to eat whole plant foods if you guys want to look up a book to read to learn more about the importance of fiber check out a book called Fiber Fueled by Will Boskowitz, right? He's not the biggest fan of juicing. He should be because he should better understand the benefits of juicing. But I think, once again, juicing can be an, a healthy part of a well-balanced diet. So, yeah, Fiber Fueled, really important book so you guys can make sure you guys get enough fiber. And that's why I like the Perpetual Juice Cleanse because you can eat other foods like beans and rice and potatoes and you know salads and fruits for your fiber as well as get some from your juice. Twelfth reason to go on a perpetual juice cleanse instead of a juice fast or juice feast is because you're gonna save money right when you guys juice depending on what juicer you use you know you have to buy a lot of produce to make a juice so one quart of juice could be like on average four pounds of produce and four pounds of produce could be at cheapest like maybe say if I got carrots could be around 30 cents a pound so that's like a buck twenty for a juice or you know say you get a pineapple is maybe like a pound for two bucks you know maybe two bucks a pound I think my average price for produce is about a dollar a pound on average is what I spend for produce I mean I also grow a huge garden where I basically have unlimited free produce of like especially the leafy greens for free but when you guys are going to perpetual juice feast you guys are gonna save money because you're making a quarter or even a half of the juice that you would drink on a juice you know fast if you had to make you know twice or four times as much juice to get enough calories and thereby you could also you know use your money to buy things like beans and rice which are granted some of the cheapest plant foods on the planet and will fill you up the most provide you some good calories as well as the fiber 13th reason you guys should do a perpetual juice cleanse instead of a juice fast is because doing a perpetual juice cleanse and drinking juice every day will make it a habit when you guys do a juice fast you're yeah you're juicing for like seven days straight and some people go for crazy amounts like 100 days or 365 days which I absolutely do not recommend you know and that might make juicing a habit and actually might get you in the habit of drinking only juice which I think can be detrimental to your health in the long run on excessively long juice fasts um, making juice, juicing a habit on a daily basis I think is critical for your health especially in this day and age when the fruits and vegetables don't have as much nutrition in them as they used to maybe even 70 years ago in the 1950s so juicing allows you to concentrate you know five pounds of carrots to make one quart of juice so basically you're getting the majority of the nutrition out of the carrots in a juice form that then you could drink take your time to drink it swish it around your mouth to mix it with your salivary amylase and swallow it and you're gonna get the majority and a better uptake of things like beta carotene in your blood that can more positively impact your health than eating you know one pound of carrots because that's about all you could fit if you guys were eating them so I think with that last tip it brings me to the end of this episode and at the end of this episode I surely hope that you know what I've taught you guys in this episode is to go on a perpetual juice cleanse or simply drink juice every day guys it's not hard especially if you got a juicer that makes juicing easier that you don't have to sit over and push produce in to make the juice and once again that's why I love 
the Nama J2 juicer. It's a juicer that I use 90% of the time. I mean, I have all the major brand juicers here, and I could choose anything. And in some cases, I do. But most of the time, I use the Nama J2 just because it makes juicing easy and allows me to make bulk juices so I can drink juice every single day with less work without making it having to make it every single day. If you want to just go on and get a 10% off discount on the Nama J2, make sure you click that link down below to go directly to namawell.com and use a coupon code CLEANS10 for a 10% off discount, which is $55. Of course, if you guys want a greater level of service and you want me on your side as your liaison to ensure you guys get warranty support, even after the two years when the written warranty is up, you can purchase that discountjuicers.com. That being said, the coupon code would not apply at Discount Juicers. So if you want to save the most money, get it at NAMA. And if you want the best level of service, buy it direct from me. And once again, I want to thank you guys for making your purchase at Discount Juicers or using my coupon code so I can continue to share my educational uh, videos and information out with the world at large. So my final words of wisdom that I'd like to leave with you guys today is that I simply want you guys eating more fruits and vegetables. And to me, juicing is clearly the easiest way to do it, to make it in a much more easy to assimilate form, easier form to digest, because we're removing some but not all of the fiber. And the fact of the matter is, only 10% of Americans eat the recommended servings of fruits and vegetables a day. And, you know, juicing, especially with the vegetables, allows us to concentrate them and get more of them into us so that we can derive the health benefits. And you don't have to be one of those statistics. The Perpetual Juice Cleanse allows you to slowly increase your fruit and vegetable consumption. And hopefully, even after just juicing fruits and vegetables, you'll be more open to eating them in their, you know, salad form, raw form, just grabbing a fruit to eat instead of a candy bar, even having to heat process them, steam them or boil them, which are the best ways of heating up some plant foods to eat them, eating other plant foods such as beans and rice for good fiber, and you'll be on your way to a healthier diet today, all because you started doing a perpetual juice cleanse like I'm recommending to you guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, hey, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That helps out the YouTube algorithm to basically push this video out to more people so that more people see this and it doesn't get lost in the annals of YouTube. Also, be sure to share this video with others. If you guys are on juicing forums, share this with them so that they can learn about you know, my opinions on juice fasting as well as a perpetual juice cleanse, which is what I recommend. I think a lot more people would, be, would benefit from a perpetual juice cleanse and just going on a random juice fast here and there. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on my new and upcoming episodes. I'll be coming out every five to seven days. If you don't know what new juicers I'll be comparing or testing or unboxing or what kind of knowledge bombs I'll be dropping on you that I've learned over my many years of juicing. I tend to think a little bit different than many people that are out there. And it's because I want you guys to get the greatest health benefit from fruits and vegetables, and especially from juicing. And finally, be sure to share our past episodes. Our past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. Over 600 episodes at this time on this channel dedicated to comparing and contrasting all different major brand juicers, as well as unboxing brand new juicers that are out in the market, as well as dropping my knowledge bombs with you. I'll put some links down below in the description to videos I've made on some knowledge bomb drops, such as how to make your own recipes, what to do when juicing fruits, to do it the best way possible, as well as my tips on juice fasting, if you do want to end up doing a juice fast. So with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.